So today I'm going to show you how to do a voiceover in Canva. And I learned this the other day when I responded to a post. A laughing emoji, thank you very much for making me aware that um, I can do a voiceover in Canva. I'm going to go ahead and create a video design. So I'm just going to search in here for just the video um, size. And so here I have um, the, my video workspace. And I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to search for a bird video. And I'm just going to come in here and um, I don't really want a long video, but I'm, so I'll take this one and I'll set the video as my background. Now you'll notice that um, this video is just one long video. It's not um, a video slideshow per se, where there are multiple pages here. So whatever video I record, it's just going to be one audio for this whole video. If this was split into separate pages, I then I could create multiple audio voiceovers to place on each page. But I've only got one uh, video here, so I can only place one audio recording here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my notes section and you can't see that right now. So let me just move my screen up a little bit. As you can see down here, I have a notes section. And what I can do with the notes section is I can just write what I'm going to be saying. So for example, this yellow bird with the orange and blue feathers is Australia's most dangerous bird. One bite from this bird will send you to the hospital. Okay. And so once you have your, your notes, and what you want to say because you can only do this once and you can't edit it unfortunately so once you have your op, your notes you're going to head over to the share button and you're going to click on the share button and you're going to go to the more area and you're going to look for something that says present and record so um it may not be in this area here i have it right here and maybe further down uh, just look for it so I'm going to click on present and record. All right. So now I'm going to go to the recording studio and it says set up my camera, but I don't need my camera. So I'm going to turn that off. I don't need a camera and in the microphone, I'm just going to make sure that I've selected the microphone, my Yeti, and um, I've got that. And now there'll be this purple button that says start recording. So all I need to do now is press this button called start recording, and then I can start to read my notes on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. It's going to give me a countdown and I'll start reading now. So this yellow bird with the orange and blue feather is Australia's most dangerous bird. One bite, from this bird will send you to the hospital. And I'm gonna end the recording. Okay, so now it's uploading my recording and it's gonna give me a link to my recording. Um, if you wanna uh, delete it and start over, you can do that too. You can save and exit and you can download. I'm gonna save and exit. Now, this recording is always going to be attached to your project. So you can come back at any time and grab that audio unless you deleted it. So where did that audio go? That's the question, right? So if we go over to um, uploads and we go to audio, 
you're going to find the recording um, just sitting there. And what we can do is we can, you can drag it on top or you can just click it and it's just, it's just added it there. So let's see what it sounds like. And I'll start reading now. So this yellow bird with the orange and blue feather is Australia's most dangerous bird. One bite. And I got cut off there because I guess I, my audio is longer than my actual um, video. So that's something else that you'll need to be cognizant of when you're recording the audio. Once you're done with your recording, you can download it and, and share it however you like. And that is about it, my friends. If there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, please do put them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will say bye-bye.